The Heart of Bars, episode 8. What's going on, y'all? Jay Manley here. Malcolm and T. Rose, and we are back with another episode of Behind the Bars. This will be episode eight, right? Right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, this episode, we are discussing how much a dollar cost by the one and only Kendrick Lamar. Um, Lamar. This is from his sophomore effort. Yep. Entitled to Pimp a Butterfly. That is correct. Indeed. Uh, Indeed. A lot of people consider this to be the uh, best rap album of all time. Um, I'm just a messenger. I didn't say. Thanks. <laughs> you ran into niggas who said that. Thanks. It's, it's been a topic. Yeah. As I sit all here time? in shock. As I sit here in shock a bit, it's been a topic all time. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. That's, I mean, that's fine. I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. A lot of people feel that. Way. I would like to talk to a nigga who genuinely feels that. That's all. No, you want to call Corey? Not right now. Okay. Uh, so verse one. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Tell me how the dots are really. <laughs> you gonna rap like him? You gonna rap like him? Go ahead, Jim. Okay, all right. I'm I'm just gonna read it because I can't remember the cadence. That's that cool. Well. That's cool. Um, how much a dollar really costs? Mm-hmm. The question is detrimental, paralyzing my thoughts, parasites in my stomach, keeping me with the gut feeling. Y'all gotta see how I'm chilling once I puck. La la la. Y'all gotta see how I'm feeling once I puck. I gotta got you. see how I'm chilling once I park this lux- luxury car. Hopping out feeling big as my tumbo. 20 your pump six. Dirty Marcellus called me Dumbo. 20 years ago, can't forget. Now I can lend him an ear or two. How to stack these residuals tenfold. The liberal concept of what men will do. 20 on six, he didn't hear me. Indigenous African tongue only spoke Zulu. I fucked up the words. My American tongue yeah, was leery. Like Walked out me. to the gas station, a homeless man with a semi tan complexion. Asked, Asked me for a 10 ran, stressing about dry land. land. Deep water powder, blue skies that crack open. A piece, a piece of, crack of crack that, that he wanted. We're we gonna, we gonna, we gonna break some of this down. I'm sorry, I got it to the back. I thought um, we were gonna read the first verse. Yeah. Break it down. I was about to say. You usually go like line by line. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that shit off rip. How much a dollar really costs? The question is detrimental, paralyzing my thoughts. How much a dollar costs to you? I just remember the first time I heard this, I'm like, damn. I never thought about that concept. It kind of fucked me up. It was one of those mind fuck situations. Definitely. And it's something you ain't think about till this nigga put this shit out and be like, yeah. damn. But I think the overall question is really like, what would you do for money? What is money? What, like, what, what does do you it mean to, to you? Sacrifice to get money. Yeah. Yep. 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 And that the answer is different for a lot of people. That's really a subjective answer. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. It's really a you test of character. Your time. Cause me, it depends on how much money it is. Yeah. <laughs> and then we gotta get into Morals. what it is you want me to do. Like what I gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot that goes into it. Yeah. That's why you hear a lot of women be like, if I ain't had no morals, the ones that missed on their stripper days, you ain't, you ain't renting no shorties like that. Be like, if I had no morals, boy, I'd be at a strip club running it up. Yeah. Yeah. I think mean, it's like just start our OnlyFans. This is a market. I'm sure some of those have gone on to start the OnlyFans. The ones that didn't want to make it in the, you know, try to and show. And then they do what we talked about in the last episode. Yep, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Saying, yep. <laughs> Full circle. Saying, kinda, uh, yeah. Full circle. <laughs> to see what we was talking about, go to episode 174. Parasites in my stomach keep me with a gut feeling, y'all. Got to see how I'm feeling once I park this luxury car. So on the inside, he got parasites in his stomach. It's keeping him with a gut feeling. Nigga, needs to go to the doctor. Yeah, a lot of y'all probably have parasites. You should detox. Or, if you or they, they could be metaphorical parasites. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, it's oh, definitely oh, a metaphor. Oh, yeah. oh, it's definitely a metaphor. Oh, it is, Jalen. What do yeah. you think the, me- the What's the metaphor? For? What's the metaphor? Um, the feeling. The feeling could be a parasite. Mm. The gut feeling is yeah, the parasite. The gut feeling is the parasite. Like how you feel that's like you got away, butterflies. That's eating away at him at his uh, okay. at his conscious basically. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. See, you gotta thank us for putting your own. Hmm. Got to see how I'm chilling once I park this luxury car. So whatever he's feeling from them parasites, that gut feeling, it's like he good on he. Good on the outside. It look good on the outside. He in the luxury mm-hmm. car, he pulling up. It goes with the but next He got to see how he chilling once he park his luxury car. You know what I'm saying? Because on the inside, them parasites keep him with a gut feeling. On the outside, he hopping out, feel as big as Mutombo. Right. You feel me? He so, walking to the G way. 20 on pump six. Let me get a dub on Ooh, pump wait, six. Wait, guys, you guys are coming way too fast. What's going on? Who's what Mutombo? does Matumbo mean? Oh, oh Matumbo. He's well. a big nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he is. <laughs> NBA legendary <laughs> center. Say he's a big nigga. It's legendary crazy. NBA center from like the 90s and the 2000s. He can't be Matumbo. He was 7'2". He used to rock it. Yeah. 
Well, Nuggets. He started with the oh, Nuggets. Oh, my bad. My yeah. bad. He started with the Nuggets. Yeah, the Rockets, yeah Rockets, right. Sixers. He was on that team with Iverson that went to the finals. That Facts. Lost. Yeah. I say, he's been around. He's mm-hmm. been around. But yeah, the no, no, no. That dude. Yeah. The Kim Bayman Tumbo. Yeah. But yeah. That's a big nigga. That's a big two. nigga. I'm about to say, and Kendrick is five, yeah. what? Four, four, probably. So that's Six. two extra feet. <laughs> that's pretty. That's a lot. That is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years ago Oh wait hold on 20 on pump 6 Who, Who's Marcellus? Dirty Marcellus calling me Dumbo Alright So we're about to find out Who Marcellus is I don't know who Marcellus is Who Marcellus? Is that one? Uh, oh Dirty Marcellus This is character it? is obscure Perhaps he is a kid Kendrick grew up with Who teased him Claiming his ears were the size of Disney character Dumbo's. Ironically, Kendrick's ears are what helped him become successful and enabled him to stack his residual profits from his music. Hmm. Okay, so 20 on Pump 6, Dirty Marcellus called me Dumbo. So Marcellus was a dirty nigga in his past that called him Dumbo. Yeah, this is a bully nigga. Yeah. This is a bully nigga. Years Talking about, why is it always the niggas who are like are so dutch that try to roast? You ever had that happen to you? Because they're hurt. Hurt people hurt people. And I'm thinking in my head, like, nigga, like, you might just, like, want to stop talking to me, bro, because, like, you are dusty than a bitch. Hurt people hurt people, And your bro. lips are chapped. Like, you're going through it, bro. Maybe they're trying to give you an easy, you know? They they, they, they playing the game on handicap. Mm. That's what I'm saying, though. It's Build like, their skills up. But see, I'm the type of nigga, bro, when I roast, bro, I roast to, like, really make niggas feel... <laughs> And think about what I said. Yeah, but like, like, you don't think next time for you roast me again. Yeah, yeah. Like I want, I want this to be the first and last time we ever have this encounter because you got me fucked up. <laughs> but it's always like the dusty niggas that try to like do that, bro. I it's like it's be the nigga you're not even really that cool with. It's like, like nigga, that. I'm not even cool like that with you in the first. So I don't feel sorry yeah. for you in your situation, but I can tell you going through it, and I'm about to really like pour like gasoline on the fire. You keep on fucking. I'm finna end this nigga whole career. Yeah, <laughs> this man whole career. Yeah, bro. It's always, it's always some niggas though, bro. I never could like. You didn't need Fifty Cent growing up, at all. <laughs> so, twenty years ago, can't forget. Yeah, he laughed because he knew. <laughs> now about lending my ear or two. Ooh, that's crazy. Flip it on him. So Marcellus called him Dumbo, and he can't forget it because you know elephants remember everything. Mm-hmm. But Dumbo had big ass ears, so now he's saying now I can lend him an ear or two on how to stack the residuals tenfold. Ooh, the Nig- liberal concept of what men would do. Mm, 20 mm. on 6 He repeating himself That nigga didn't hear me <laughs> Indigenous African only spoke Zulu Ooh. So the nigga who was trying to get who, who was trying to get a 22 Didn't understand He said he didn't hear him But he just didn't understand Like what, what? Excuse me You know and I feel like him um, Going to say, what, Saying that you know the, It was a person who had an indigenous African who was indigenous? Who wasn't an indigenous African and only spoke Zulu? Uh, it's a common theme throughout this album where he is uh, sort of having moments where he's uh, forced to uh, unlock something within himself on his journey to finding his roots. Yep, yep, yep. If you didn't notice, and maybe that's my own like Not way yet. I'm like you right perceiving it, but you know you right because the whole album is literally all connected through these different. Messages, passages, poetry, all that shit. Mm-hmm. But continue. So his American tongue was leery. I'm not sure what leery means, but I get the gist from the context clues. As he walked up the gas station, a homeless man with a semi tan complexion asking me for ten rand, stressing about dry land. Now, if you don't know what rand is, it's a form of currency. I don't know what country. I think it's one of them South African countries. It might be South Africa. Do y'all know what it is? Wait, what? Rand, it's a uh, um, it's a type of currency. It's like yen, it's like pounds, like I'm not sure dollar. where it's for. It's one of those yeah, South it, African yeah, countries. You're right. Is it South Africa you're itself? Right. You're right. You looking it up? Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, okay. Does it say South Africa? I can't see that. That's that's, that's Nelson Mandela. That's Nelson. Nelson. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so they got Rand. It's about Nelson Mandela. <laughs> but, <laughs> Y'all never seen a Nelson Mandela skit on Chappelle show. <laughs> Yeah, you so. have. Yeah, you seen it. I don't remember it oh, off top. Oh shit! Okay, another story <laughs> for another time. Okay, all right, we, we'll get to that right after five. <laughs> so this homeless man who's asking him for ten rand, I think it's still playing on the fact that Kendrick might not really know where he's at. Yeah, because the nigga in the gas station is an indigenous African who only spoke Zulu. Mm-hmm. Now this nigga's asking him for rand. Kendrick, you might be in South Africa. No, he's. You South probably Africa. shouldn't be speaking English. And there's the other. Here's the other reason why the nigga didn't understand him. So, 
Um, have y'all ever been on the West Coast, like on the East Coast at a gas station, like a Wawa or something like that? Have you yeah. Ever? Okay. Yeah. So y'all know that like you're not allowed to pump your own gas yeah, or pump, like they that. They gas, do it for so you. He's... Like you can get in trouble if you tr- do your own shit. Cause that's I ain't job. never been in that situation. Yeah. Like yeah, if you go thing. to a Wawa or some shit like that, like you pay for the gas. They got a few but somebody out. comes out and yeah, does it for they, you. They got a few gas stations like that down here too. And yeah. apparently that's the same shit. Yeah. In this song, like that's the situation that's going on. With that's why the dude wasn't comprehending, like. What he was going over, he was like, "Cause yeah. somebody's supposed to go out there and do it for him." So yeah, New York niggas don't pump their gas. So basically, this nigga's all has all his element right now. Kendrick is all out of his element. Yeah, this is new to me. I know it used to be pump then pay. No, no, they stopped doing that. Like, like nigga, I got it. Niggas was like, "What are you doing?" It was like, "We got somebody for that type shit." I wonder how many <laughs> niggas ran off when it just used to be pump and pay. I'm sure a lot. I wonder, like, I, I know that's still like, like that in some places. Really? Nah. Where you can just put the pump up and start pumping? Yeah, then you go in and pay. It, it's mainly like small towns and like, I don't want to say middle oh, America, yeah, but like, like they gonna put a shotgun so you can try to run off type shit. Type shit. Nigger! If they, if they like, catch you. Like they know every, like, like, oh yeah, Ronnie was here yesterday, he forgot to pay, he'll be here Thrill's tomorrow. Like, nah. What? He said, never mind. Oh. But yeah, so, deep water, powder blue skies that crack open. Ooh. He's definitely in fucking South Africa. I think I'm just now realizing this. Yeah. Deep water, powder blue skies that crack open. It sounds like he walked into like his like corner store gas station from where he from an area he's familiar with, and then walked out and he's in South Africa. Mm. So mm. He, he, he walked he walked in thinking that he was in Compton wherever he thought he was at. But that goes back into you saying him searching for his roots. Yeah. Yeah. So he's not even realizing that he's finding pieces of himself as he goes on his journey. Mm-hmm. Just like this piece of crack that he thought the homeless man wanted because he knew that he was smoking. He begged and pleaded, asked me to feed him twice. I didn't believe it, told him beat it, contributed money just for his pipe. I couldn't see it. So he offered it, believe. You know how, you know, come on now. You know Y'all listening is. right now. Y'all pull up to the gas station. You see the, see the home, the dude out there by the door that's. Shaking the cup or just opening the door, being a gentleman, opening door for niggas, you know, just got a couple tanks to spare, whatever. That's the nigga that he ran into, but I'm he's so sure. I'm not gonna lie, I've, there's been, well, not even say I'm being a dick. I just don't carry cash like that. That's another thing. But a lot of us don't carry cash. Sometimes I do have cash, and if I like got it on me, I'm gonna give some money away. Yeah. But it's like, I used to have that battle in my, within myself to where it was like, Bro, I'm not giving this nigga money just so he can go smoke some crack. And see, that's the thing. That's like, what he has. But it's like at the yeah. end of the day, bro. It's like, nigga, if you gonna help a nigga out, help a nigga out. If you're not, you know, because you can't sit you know. back and like hold a nigga's hand and all right, now make sure you don't buy crack. <laughs> make sure you get a subway sandwich. You can't do that. If you gonna help a nigga out, help a nigga out. Yeah, that's just I, what it boils down to. I hear you. I hear so you. it's like when I started like. It's crazy because like I never even broke this verse down like this until just now to mm-hmm. like really see what he's the fuck like what he's like deliver literally paint a picture like that. Mm-hmm. But it's just crazy because it's just like fuck like a lot of niggas do that. A lot of niggas won't give money because they don't they feel like they're contributing to yeah. To but that's bullshit. such like a fucking Ronald Reagan ass statement. You think? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, but that's what but that's is. a whole different podcast <laughs> episode in itself that we can do research and deep dive on and we're yeah. not gonna do that right now right. I kinda go off of just like the situation like normally when I see kids out mm-hmm. and they're like hustling then mm-hmm. I'll bless them anybody hustling I'll bless them but I don't respect begging that's just me though see I have a so I'm not gonna hold you bro especially if I see like that they they get niggas could be lying but if, when I see that they, they always kinda get me with the military vet shit if I see that it's a vet in his home and they're that actually homeless. doesn't help me. That don't make me have more empathy when I see it. It depends on better. timing, bro. I'm gonna be a thousand. It, it depends on timing. It depends on timing. I mean, it hey. depends on timing because the World War the World War Two vets went through some shit. Like it's it's not surprising that like a lot of them are homeless. Um, when you when you see like the everything that's that went into that shit. Yeah, bro. I was gonna say okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it depends on the era. Yeah. I guess you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, bro. Like I'm, I'm, I'm always had sympathy for them, bro. Because that was some bullshit. <laughs> see, we're getting on topic again. Let's keep let's get <laughs> on the verse. <laughs> Nonetheless, goddamn Kendrick. Contributing yeah. money before his <laughs> pipe, I couldn't see it. He said, "My son, temptation is one thing that I've defeated. Listen to me." I want a single bill from you. Nothing less, nothing more. I told him I ain't have it, then closed my door. Tell me how much a dollar costs. Mm. He didn't believe it. The nigga told him for sure. He was like, hey, bro, I'm not doing drugs, nothing. I just want a dollar. That's yeah. it. Now, let me ask you this. Do y'all think Kendrick carries cash? No. No. 
Okay. Let me ask you guys this, and this is just back to the situation that Kendrick just described. Mm-hmm. Have y'all ever had that like real, real cool, like homeless person who thought you were cool enough to really try to like give you their full life story to basically persuade you to give them money? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, usually that's not usually that lets me know that they're not that cool, though. My whole thing is when it comes to strangers and you walking up to strangers asking them for something, if they say no, that's the end of that interaction. Mm. It's the end of that. Don't beg, explain, do nothing, because now you're becoming an annoyance. Well, no, 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 no. I'm talking about like on the first interaction. I'm not not talking about like you said no. Then they explain themselves. I'm talking about they lead. They just walk up to you like, "Hey, brother," and then just start I'm just going in it out. Like, <laughs> yeah, like my, my car wheel just broke off and I lost my. No, not even, even that. Not even my... that. I'm talking about like a nigga just giving it to you straight, like I'm homeless. Oh, Please no, just I've help been, me. No, I've never been in that. I've had that happen. Usually, to me like it's a few some times. convoluted story of why they're stranded and they just need a little bit of help. Been through a gumbo. Pile and then there's some okay. there's some child and or pregnant woman that no mm-hmm. that that just are not in sight. Yeah, I just be like, cool story. I'll probably write that down. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. I don't. Care. Like I said, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> use that. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be so. I'm just so, I, and I have to live some more life to understand this, but I just be so dumbfounded. Mm-hmm. I don't, I literally do not understand how people can end up homeless on the street, broke as fuck with nothing, and not one person to help them. Half of that has got to be your fault. Burn bridges. But half so of that's, that's, that's to be your, your point. But burn bridges. A lot of them burn all their bridges, bro. So yeah, I'm not about to be the nigga to help you. And you burned all the bridges of people who actually yeah. loved you and was in your life. So don't come to me now. Yeah. A lot of times that, that be that be what it be. And a lot of times I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Damn, we didn't do YouTube rabbit holes. I'm shitty. All right, back to the song. Lot, no, this is one, I just want to say before we get back to it. A lot of niggas choose that lifestyle. A lot of niggas choose to be homeless. That's true. That's the thing too. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. back to the song though. So do y'all. How would y'all feel if somebody came to y'all and if, some, if you was like, nah, nah, and then they was like, he probably think I want some drugs. And they was like, man, I'm not on that shit. I just need a little bit to get on the bus. I'm trying to get home. I would respect it. I'd probably buy the ticket. That would convince you? Well, T-Row said, I'd probably buy the ticket. Okay. okay. Be like, I'm not giving you the money. I'm going to buy the ticket. Yeah, I'd probably buy and the ticket. And based off of how you react with me saying I'm going to buy the yeah. ticket, say, give you the money, it's going to tell me. Yeah. Whether you really need it or not. <laughs> exactly. Because T-Row, that plays into the part to where like... Motherfuckers was see somebody like saying, "Oh, I'm homeless, and um, I'm just hungry." And a nigga drop off a sandwich, and the, and the motherfucker they get mad because get mad they really gave him a sandwich. I'm and they like, gave him money. I thought you was hungry. <laughs> like, what? What is it here? But, yeah, nigga. If I'm a homeless, nigga, I'm taking that fucking Arby's roast beef. Yeah, like it's a few homeless people. Bro. Um, I like I think I told y'all like when I be getting free food and whatnot, and it's some non-vegan shit. Just I just give it to homeless people. Homeless people. Yeah. yeah, I be like, hey, I was like, I don't got no bread, but you want to play. Every single time I've done that, they be like, hell yeah. Yeah. They be like, hell yeah, what is it? They be like, hell yeah. Then I give it to them. Then I tell them what it is. They usually don't even ask what it is. They exactly. don't give a they fuck. Don't they don't care. And that's how I know. And like, that's, how, I, that's how you know the real. Yeah. The and when I be seeing him, uh, not often, but I've seen him a few times. I help him out when I can. Because like, I remember I had a plate of Thanksgiving food and I just pulled up from that. Mm. And like, it was just in the back. I said, hey, bro, you want some food? And it was a vegan plate. Oh, so, shit. Hey, my brother, bro, was some Damn. vegan Thanksgiving. That's some, real nigga uh, shit. Because Michael don't play about vegan food. food. <laughs> Yeah, on me. Yeah. <laughs> That's real nigga shit right Say, there. Nah, you lucky nigga. But it's like I feed it. You know, everybody got to eat. But I ain't finna. I'm not finna pay you. You don't work for me. Yeah. Are we gonna get into the chorus or? Yeah, let's get to it. All right. It's more to feed your mind. Water, sun, and love the one you love. All you need, the air you breathe, which is sung by James Fauntleroy. Yeah, I'm glad you said that because I don't know how to say that name. It's Fauntleroy. Like, yeah. You know, didn't want to butcher it. I was about to say some wild shit. Too. <laughs> <laughs> For the like when I was a kid, like when I was younger, I used to call him James Fontleroy. <laughs> Fonta Font Fonta Leroy. All right, all right. Let's move on. James Fontleroy. James Fontleroy. <laughs> Fontleroy. Verse two. Uh, He's staring at me okay. in disbelief. Ooh. My mm-hmm. temper is building. He's staring at me. I grab my key. He's staring at me. I started the car. Then I tried to leave. And something told me to keep it in park until I could see. Mm. Now, I see, uh, dude, come on. What? What? Come what? On, man. <laughs> you're just crazy. I think just he like just, you. oh, yeah. I think he just, he said, because, like, that's some Jalen shit. Like, hold on. So now, real quick, yeah. to see why he's this mad. So at this like, point, Kendrick is in the car. He closed the door. You know, he don't pay for his gas on that shit, right? <laughs> so now he just got a feeling that the nigga is staring at him. 
the, the <laughs> homeless man is staring I'm, at I want to say I'm laughing though because like nigga do you know how awkward it is to not look at a homeless person like at a red light awkward with, bro with, with no tents bro <laughs> with no tents uh, it's awkward with tents so I can imagine <laughs> it's like you see me you see me not like actively not looking at you like, bro, keep it pushed. I had to tell this homeless nigga no three times. Bro, it, I was like, no. See, I, I rolled like, out my window. I don't nigga, feel the, no. I was like, I don't think I feel the awkwardness. Have you, have you ever been in the car It's with only me? when they staring at you and holding the cup out. Yeah, I was When they like, just, just sitting look there, at them. Cool. No, just look at them. No, no, no. See, I make it a point to like look everywhere but where they're at, bro. It depends on the situation. And it's like, I feel like just me doing that and just me being who I am, bro, I make it that obvious that I'm ignoring this person. <laughs> you just got to look at them and once they start doing it, shake your head. After that, all right. Now, See, I'll do that to the water boys because it's like, nigga, like. No, some. It depends on the day because sometimes yeah. with the water boys, I don't even drink the water. They be, like, they be having purified water. I don't drink that shit, but yeah. I'll buy it. You put a dollar in your pocket. Yeah, I don't even <laughs> buy it. With the water boys, normally I give them like two dollars. Yeah, I'd rather just give them. Yeah, I just, yeah. That's more so my vibe yeah. with the water boys. Like, just, yeah. Yeah. That or Gatorades and shit. I'll be like, I don't yeah. even drink this shit, but like, fuck it. Y'all here getting your money. I don't even be cold. Like, nigga, we're in Atlanta. This shit is hot than a bitch. Shit. No they be having them coolers, nigga. Some I don't know what you hey, 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 let's get back to the lyrics, <laughs> goddammit. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Water Boys. Yeah, He's staring facts. at me in disbelief. No. Okay, the reason why he was mad at a stranger, like I was supposed to save him, like I'm the reason he's homeless and asking me for a favor. He's staring at me. His eyes follow me with no laser. He's staring at me. I noticed that, that his stare is contagious. What? No. Shut up, nigga. Because now I'm laser. staring back at him feeling some type of disrespect. All right? So he feels the tension of this nigga staring at him. Hold on. Wait. This is Kendrick explaining a nigga moment. Definitely. This is definitely a nigga moment. Definitely. This is how a nigga moment can occur if you don't know. Go ahead. Keep continuing. I just wanted to lay that out. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. So, like, yeah, he's staring at him. He's just noticing the tension that's rising. Like, he, like, told the nigga no, and now the nigga just keeps staring at him, and he feel it, and he feel it. So, he said, now he's staring back at him, feeling some type of disrespect. If he could throw a bat at him, he'd be aiming at his neck. He never, I never understood someone begging for goods, asking for handouts, taking it if they could. And this particular person just had it down pat, staring at me for the longest until he finally asked. Have you ever opened up Exodus 14? A humble man is that we all ever need. Tell me how much a dollar costs. Damn. What you do after a long just you. stare at him? I, I, I hate I hate when a homeless nigga try to give me game. This is like Why? And what if it's game to keep I'm, you away from this? I was about shit? to make it funny, but go ahead, make it serious. Go ahead. No, I was just asking why. What could you tell me? <laughs> How to not end up like him? Is that like so? I was like, <laughs> I mean, okay, I get that point, but it's like, don't try, to, don't try, to, don't try to, nigga, like. Don't try to guilt trip me into giving you money by trying to like give me like a young blood moment. <laughs> they be trying, they be trying to young blood. They way into some money too sometimes. Young I ain't blood. Hold you. Oh man, the young blood, the whole. But in all seriousness, though, I I I have had a homeless nigga try to give me some game, and it was like some insightful shit. Mm. So I've never ever looked into what Exodus fourteen exactly was, <laughs> and apparently it's Moses leading the niggas through the Red Sea mm-hmm. when it's parted. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So they're saying Kendrick step up man you be the one man and all it takes is one yeah he said a humble man is all that we ever need you the one just yeah. step up who am I to go to Pharaoh and tell them let my people go exactly it's you who am I brother talk to the burning bush mm. you think about that? Moses a humble man was old uncharismatic and poor public speaker was unconventional choice to lead God's people out of Egypt and in it and it wow I just butchered it initially tried to shrink I just, I just butchered the initially Shrink the job Asking God in Exodus 311 Yeah Yeah we're on uh, Rap Genius Nevertheless Despite of perhaps Because of his humility God chose Moses As the great prophes- prophesied leader To deliver the Israelites <gasps> Okay So Kendrick At this point in his career This song Okay mm, Hey okay. This nigga Kendrick is Alright Bear with me So Exodus 14 He's he's saying he Moses Basically That's what he's telling y'all He's like, nigga, I'm Moses. But right now, I need to get my shit together before I can help everybody else. I can't help niggas if I can't help myself. So I and gotta find that myself. that speaks to so many, the thing that so many niggas go through. It's like, nigga, I'm trying to make it myself, nigga. If I had it, I would give it. And a lot of, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, he's got to work on himself. And, then, and the homeless man is like, hey, bro, I see the potential in you, which we'll actually get to in the next verse. But he's saying, <clears throat> pretty much, I can, you, you the nigga that's going to lead these people, but you got to get right with them before you can do that. And 
I see it in you. All right. So and then the chorus is played again. We're not gonna do that. Yeah, again. the chorus comes back. Uh, verse three. You got it, T Rose. Guilt tripping and feeling oh, okay. resentment. I never met a transient that demanded attention. They mm. got me frustrated, <laughs> indecisive, and power tripping. Outward emotions got me looking at the universe different. Mm. I should distance myself. Mm. I should keep it relentless. Mm. My selfishness will got me here. Who the fuck am I kidding? Ooh, so I'm going to tell you like I told the last bum. Crumbs and pennies, I need all of mine. And I recognize this type of panhandling all the time. <laughs> Damn. So this why nigga why has, are you talking to him like he that? He hasn't learned. <laughs> he said, why are you talking to him? I'm just saying, he's trying to give him a, he's trying to give him a young blood moment. And this nigga just called him a panhandler. He knows what type of panhandle he dealt with this shit before. Well, that's kind of, he's trying to go on. It's kind of what you were saying. I should distance myself. I should keep it relentless. My selfishness is what's got me here. Who the fuck am I kidding? He like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He got to look out for himself. Okay. He distance okay. himself from he, the situation. He, he, he get, okay. Let's, so keep, now let's, I'm let's keep on you, going. Yeah. I told the last bum, the crumbs and pennies, I need all of mine. Mm-hmm. So I can't give you nothing because I got to look out for myself first. He's like, nigga, yeah, I got to look out for me. I want to say let's let keep let's keep on reading this verse actually because it's going to explain everything that I'm asking questions about. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Want, let's <laughs> fuck it. Let's go through the whole thing real quick. All right. Okay, you got it, or you want me? Uh, actually, my phone is tripping. Again. I don't know why it's right. this app. Yeah, and I recognize this type of panhandling all the time. I got better judgment. I know when niggas hustling. Keep in mind, when I was struggling, I did compromise. Now I comprehend. I smell grandpa's old medicine reeking from your skin. Mm-hmm. Moonshine and gin. Nigga, you're babbling. Your words ain't flattering. I'm imagining Denzel, but looking at O'Neal. Kazam is sad thrills. Your gimmick is mediocre. The jig mm-hmm. is up. I seen you from a mile away losing focus. And I'm insensitive and I lack empathy. He looked at me and said, your potential is bittersweet. I looked at me and said, every nickel is my to keep. He looked at me and said, nigga, know the truth that it'll set you free. He didn't Looking say nigga. the Messiah, the son of Jehovah, the higher power, the choir that spoke the word, the Holy Spirit, the nerve of Nazareth. Then I'll tell you just how much a dollar costs. The price of having a spot in heaven. Embrace your loss. I, I am God. God. I know that ending. My phone froze. Oh, God. I know that. <laughs> I know that <laughs> shit. That's my shit. Hey. Hey. <laughs> he wrapped it up nice and let you nigga. know why he ain't me fucking with it. Hey. Right? I hope y'all got that. Is that? Hey. Yeah, do we need to break that down? I, do we know? I don't even think we need to break that down. It's self explanatory I don't even need to break that down, honestly, bro. Because we, 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 we laid the bed just yeah. for niggas to get in it. I'm about to say. Imagine yeah. you, like, talking all that fly shit and the whole time that was God in the image of a poor man. What's that? What song with the white chick? Played what yourself. God was one of us. Well, I see. Say you played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in this whole verse, Kendrick basically is going off on the old, on the homeless man. Basically, like, hey, nigga, I can't help you because I'm trying to look out for myself. I need to make mm-hmm. sure I'm good before I can help out anybody else. Yeah. Like yeah, when I was when I was in a worse position when I was nobody helped smart. me, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> so I got out the mud. So I'm gonna make sure I keep these riches and every penny and dollar that I earn is mine. That ain't for me to just hand out to niggas. I'm gonna end up like y'all. That's what he's basically telling the niggas. And the old niggas like, all right, that's all cool, but uh, all I asked for was a dollar, nigga. Now you done fucked that up because I'm God and you just lost your spot in heaven. Yeah, that's pretty much what he told him. God a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> that's another time for a different ep- oh, podcast shit. episode as well. Um, oh yeah, the outro. Can't forget the legendary yeah, Ronald Isley. Let's, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and get into that outro yeah. real quick. What do he say? He washed his hands. I said my grace. What more do you want from me? Tears of a clown. Guess I'm not what it's all meant to be. Shades of gray will never change if I condone. Turn mm-hmm. this page. Help me change my mm-hmm. right to right my wrong. And that's the end of the song. Produced by Love Dragon. So shout out to you. And that has been episode... Eight of Behind the Bars with the Brother Guys podcast. We have to pick somebody other than Kendrick for like the next. Three. Yeah, I'm about to say he's been in like four of these already. Yeah, <laughs> y'all niggas got and that nigga hard. I'm about to say y'all don't be hearing Kendrick. <laughs> I'm about to y'all say y'all don't be hearing him. <laughs> yeah, we got to pick somebody else. But that was a good song to break down. That was I had a fun great song. That, one. that yeah. was yeah. I felt like that was gonna be fun. That was a great yeah. one. So, so yeah, yeah. Send us y'all stories on interactions with homeless people. Whether you helped them, whether you didn't help them, how you feel about it. Whether you like Kendrick. What do you think this is the best hip hop album of all time? What do you think is trash? Yeah, give us all kind of you know feedback and new. Because I'm gonna argue. Hey yo, time out, man. Can I? Say, no, I'm not gonna do that. Say that for another day. Yeah. Say for it for another day. Sure. <laughs> a ginger bubbling in my stomach. But all right, man. We appreciate we y'all. We out. <laughs>